What on earth is a balloon doing in this age of space rockets? They call it the small world here at Cardington, where once the airship R-100 was housed, and a test inflation was made in the presence of the man who commanded that craft back in 1925. In the small world, three men and one woman plan to fly across 3,000 miles of the South Atlantic. It'll be a sort of contiki voyage of the air, as reported exclusively by the Daily Mail. In London, three of the four adventurers examine the car of the balloon. Tim I. Lowert, Rosemary Mudie and her husband Colin. Tim and Rosemary demonstrate how they pedal the propellers, which can give the balloon extra lift or help to bring it down, and also work the generator to charge batteries. There's also a hydrogen generator to make up for what the balloon leaks. It's ingeniously connected with a cooker, which uses the heat the generator gives off. By radio, Tim Alert will send out regular weather observations. An automatic altimeter will warn them if they lose height. Not present here was the expedition leader Tim's father, 51-year-old Arnold Alert. Mr. and Mrs. Mudie examined the route to the West Indies across the South Atlantic. The route they hope the wind will take them. Very soon, the gas bag and the car will be joined together, shipped to the Canaries, and from there, as soon as the weather's good enough, off they'll go.